Hey guys, my name is Dave. Welcome to another video. So today, we are going to be talking about the second stage of the eight stages of psychosocial development. Now, the first stage will apply to this stage big time. Um, at least from what I've observed. And I've seen it amongst quite a few individuals, including my siblings, and relatives in general. Now, the stage itself, after trust versus mistrust, which was the last stage we discussed with Pink Fox and me, this next stage is autonomy versus shame and doubt. Now, just so there's not much confusion, not many people exactly directly know what it refers to when it says autonomy, because a lot of the time it's more of a scientific term when you bring that up rather than psychological. But basically, look at it this way. Moral decision is probably a better way to put it. Moral choice versus shame and doubt. Let's put it that way. Now, what exactly is this? How does it, why is it impacted in the time range it is? Because this takes place during the time range when you're a toddler. When you're a baby, trust versus mistrust settles in for like parents, siblings, people in general, based off how your guardian, parents, or whoever you're raised under treats you. Autonomy versus shame and doubt is kind of the follow up to this. If trust is the one that ends up being taken. If it's mistrust, then you basically skip this step anyway, because you're pretty much just, at that point, you're basically a rebel man. Yeah! <laughs> I don't know. I actually might even be spot off on that last bit, but eh, I'm just trying to throw some kind of humor in there. Anyway, if you do take the path that leads to this, how exactly does it impact future dates? Like, for people like me. You know, like 15 years later. Well, put it this way. Morals exceed through the rest of your life, but they are first developed when you're just a child. And they grow more over time but the seed has to be planted somewhere for a tree to grow. Or for a plant to grow, I should say. Does a tree get grown by seeds? I feel like I should know this. <laughs> Brain fart right now. Anyway, I digress. Point being of this is more that when it comes to this kind of thing, if the seed is properly planted, you'll grow. But into what? Autonomy, if you follow that, will basically be saying you've built up good morals for yourself and you don't deny them. However, if you hit shame and doubt, you started building morals, but you start questioning them big time. It has nothing to do with blame for things. That's actually the stage will be discussed by whoever next time. However, these morals build up your choices for life. Every single choice you make is based off what you build yourself up to be. That, use, that part usually ends after puberty and after high school years, or college years, depending on the person. However, it starts as a toddler. It starts as what you choose to do, the activities you decide to end up liking for yourself and all that different kind of stuff those choices come from these kind of things now what is the bad side of shame, the autonomy and shame and doubt what is the shame and doubt side of this say you start looking at these other morals and you're like is that really what i want like say kind of a symbolic example you end up being presented with, one, 
like three different toys as a kid. One's a doll. One's a car, like a toy car, kind of the things that you would go move back and forth. And the last one is a video game. Depending on the individual and their morals that they decide on, they could choose one or they could choose a completely different. They could choose unless they're unsure. At that point, they'll kind of be going back and forth between two different ones. They'll be like, I don't know. That's where the shame and doubt kicks in. And the indecisiveness can become a big problem if it lasts too long. The interesting thing about this is, though, is that most of the time, that indecisiveness does not last forever. It lasts a while, and it can impact the next few stages that will be discussed at different dates, but they don't last forever, which is very interesting to think about, in my opinion. I don't know. What are your guys' thoughts on this? Sounds like Pink Fox is prepping to come back in with some blasting music that she enjoys, so I want to let her enjoy that. But I was going to leave this off here anyway. What are your guys' opinion on this particular stage of the stages of psychosocial development? Psychosocial development. My bad. Let me know in the comments below. If you have anything you'd like to add to what was said, or you have any of your own, whether cross or not, opinions on this kind of thing, go ahead and put it down there as well. Just try to be user-friendly about it. Anyway, once again, I'm going to head off. Um, if you guys like this video, make sure to push that like button and so far you can't see it anymore. If you really like to consider subscribing to the channel, have a suggestion for a different group of videos you'd like to see on here, let us know in the comments below. One of us will probably try to get to it when we can, if we feel like we'd like to talk about it. However, thanks again for tuning in, everyone. Hope you liked the video once again, and we hope to see all of you in another. See you guys later.